Hi everybody. I'm coming today to um, share a new project that I'm working on that I hope that you'll find interesting and that you'll want to participate in. And those of you who know me know that I read tarot cards. I've been doing it for over 20 years for myself and my family and my friends and for my clients. But it's come to the point now where I have been led that I need to share this particular gift with more people and not just the circle. I need to expand our community and get what we need to get. So the way it works is you submit a name to me, uh, birthday hopefully, uh, as much information as you may have about an uh, ancestor who's already passed over. And what I will do is do the research, uh, fill in whatever holes that are missing in the story, and then get back to you and do the reading for that particular relative. Those messages are messages that I'll be sharing with the community at large. At the same time, of course, I still do regular tarot readings, um, either in person or by video, um, maybe Skype, uh, if I would learn how to set these things up. But <laughs> I would like to also offer those services um, for you. And of course, I wouldn't be, um, we wouldn't be sharing that with the uh, community unless you felt that the message that was received was something that needed to be uh, shared with the rest of the family. So those personal readings will be private, but the readings that are being done for the ancestors will not be private. They are the reason for the project, is to get that information out there, to share information, to share experiences, to share stories, to share insight and advice that our ancestors most definitely want to share with us. And now they're going to be able to do that. I'm speaking primarily to those of us who are descendants of those who have been enslaved, um, those who had to deal with the indignities and the horrors of the Holocaust that was foisted upon the peoples of Africa and uh, there are bonds that were broken and there are people that we lost contact with um, and tribes that were broken up, families that were broken up. We all know the stories. So, right now, we want to know the other stories. Personal, day-to-day -day stories. We also want to give those ancestors a chance to impart their wisdom that we can apply to ourselves today. And that wisdom is not only for their uh, children or children's children, not just for their descendants, but also messages for all of us. And we can all learn something. Once we start to uh, see that they're here and realize that they're helping us and guiding us, blessing us, embracing us, protecting us, then we can know that we have the right to go forward. We have to stand up in our truth and know who we are. Again, as you've heard, I'm sure, you can't know where you're going if you haven't known where you've been. And our ancestors know where we've been. And they know even where we're going. But they want us to live our best lives. And we can't live our best lives if we aren't getting the advice that we need. We're going through unnecessary conflicts, unnecessary worries, and not turning to 
the spiritual guides, and the faith that is innate in, within our community. So I'm going to be having people submit names and dates of people that they'd like to contact. Is this um, mediumism? Uh, okay, maybe. Um, we'll see. But I know that it happens for me. I know that it has happened for my clients and for my families. Um, sometimes it happens without the tarot cards, and sometimes it happens with the tarot cards. But it always happens. So I'm going to give information um, very soon about ways to contact me with that information. Uh, again, if you want readings for yourself, of course, I can do those also. I could do them on pers in person, as I said, or I could do it on Skype. But whatever I do for you uh, who are the living, I would not be sharing with everybody on YouTube or videos, whatever, Facebook, or however this goes. But for the ancestors, I will be sharing it with the entire community. I won't be using their names per se unless it's important uh, or unless you give me permission to do that but for the most part it'll just be giving um, information without identifying the people um, directly unless it's necessary so let's do this together now there are those of us out here in the community whose ancestors were on the other side of uh, the Holocaust. Some of them benefited from it. Some of them, of course, were indentured uh, slaves themselves, but there was an end to their indentured hurt. The slavery that was experienced by the Africans and their descendants was generational. And it goes on and on and on, and it's still going on to this day. And those who were on the other side reaped the benefits of that. And those of us who are descendants from the African side, those who were enslaved, didn't, haven't reached our benefits yet, haven't received our benefits as yet. So, while we're here, um, it's time for us to start getting to be about our business and getting it together. But what we can, what you all can do, those of you who have benefited, okay, this is Midnight, she's my son's cat, she, uh, uh anyway, she's just, really, she wants to be in this video. I don't like cats, but she adopted us, and uh, I guess she wants, I have what, really? Okay, she wants to be safe. So, anyhow, move that air. Um, those of you who were the descendants of uh, those who participated in slavery, either as uh, the masters or the uh, pirates, merchants, uh, who took advantage of, uh, of us, of our family members, you might not want to acknowledge it. There's a shame that goes along with it, but more of it is that you're afraid that, oh my goodness, if I admit that my family did this, then they're going to come after me. They're going to want something from me. They're going to want money, reparations. Oh my God, we say reparations and everybody loses their cool. Okay, let's not discuss reparations. Let's discuss this part of it. While you're busy not wanting anybody to know what your grandfathers and your grand uncles and them did, you're keeping information away from us, your cousins, your half sisters and half brothers, half grandchildren. You need, you have the information, you have the ability to perhaps search your genealogical records and share that information with those of us who are seeking more information. 
that would be something that maybe could start to heal us as a, as a nation, as a people, as a country. So we're not talking about uh, financial reparations, but we're talking about you helping to put the puzzle together for us too. Maybe this is a way to redeem it all. Acknowledging what happened and helping us by giving us the information. Just like as if some person was adopted and they didn't know who their parents were. And you had the information about the original birth certificate, what hospital or whatever. Wouldn't it be the right thing to do to give that information to that child that's looking for that information? Even if that doesn't mean that they make contact with that parent, but just to know that you were able to help. So why not help your neighbors? Why not help your family members? Why not help your cousins? The only way that we can go forward is to acknowledge the pain, acknowledge the hurt, and do what we can do as a community, black and white and brown and red and yellow, but mostly talking to you, descendants of the slave owners and those who participated in the transatlantic slave trade. Get about your business. Go look in your family histories. Check into your Bibles. Check into all that paperwork that's there. Find out if there's any way to know who your families, who your grandparents, great, 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 great grandparents, who were those people who lived on their property and who served them and who worked for them for free with no pay? Who were their slaves? Why not start there? Why not start there? then the conversations can happen because you're not going to be having those conversations with strangers and people out, you know, generally media, politicians. You'll be talking to your cousins, to your own family. And say, I, I wasn't there, I didn't do it, I, I didn't benefit anything from it. Okay, another discussion. But look what I found. Look, I, I have this I could share with you. And you can do that, it, you can cipher the information through me, through, through the company that we're going to develop to, do all, to handle all of these things, to get information from point A to point B. We'll even find a way to do it if you don't want to personally identify yourself with that. But if there's any information that you have that you could share, it would be most appreciated. There are families that don't know where they started. There are families that just reach a wall when they're trying to do this genealogy. Some families, you know, can go all the way back to, you know, France and England and Ireland and, and Spain and, you know, all these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stories. We don't have that. And that is part of the problem. And it's not just our problem because it becomes your problem eventually. So I'm going to be here to give you assistance also on how to help. Help us put together our picture. Help families put together that puzzle. It's not going to cost you anything but maybe some time. Um, but it would be so much appreciated and it will be so helpful for us generally as a nation we have to stick together there's some rough stuff going on these days and we have to stand up and say no this is who we are yes we're not perfect yes we've done ugly things yes we are not always right but individually we're good and we can be good 
and we can do things for good. So, those of you who have access to the information about um, plantation owners and um, those people, uh, merchants, things like that, ship owners, any records that you can get together and you want to sh would like to share, I'll be more than happy to, to get that information from you and to see if we can forward it to the people who would benefit from that. Now, back to the main project. The main project is helping our ancestors to tell us their stories. And the way we're going to do that is by um, getting the names, as much information as we can. I'll do as much research as uh, is necessary until I come to a, where I can't get any more. And at that point, I'll contact you, let you know what I found, and we'll do the reading, and the reading will be shared with the public. So, readings, personal readings for live people are $25, and the readings for our ancestors are $25 and that is to cover the cost and time of the research that it may take for me to verify that this is the person that you want us to check and uh, their records and um, websites and stuff and you have to pay a fee. You could very well do all of that yourself but I'm already going to be paying the fees because of the things that I, I'm doing for myself, the research that I'm doing for my family and my clients. So since I'm already in there, um, it'll save you that time expense of finding that information and getting it to me. But anything, a picture, names, where they lived, you know, what state, what city town they lived in, um, any other family members around them that you can uh, remember or find out as much information as you can and then you submit it to me. You can send it to me. Um, my email address is egunlady at aol.com. Um, I also have a Tumblr which is Aoife Midwives on Tumblr and um, the email address there that's connected to that is Aoife, I-F-A Midwives, M capital M I D capital W I V E S at Yahoo and those uh, emails and that Tumblr site will be ways for you to contact me you also can contact me on my uh, Facebook page if you're a friend of mine uh, messenger also on the our stories continues page uh, which is the blog that I've been doing over the last couple of years just um, getting things off my chest and talking about things that I've come in contact with people I've come in contact with things that I like songs and whatever so you can always uh, drop uh, uh, a line there and uh, I'll get a notebook I'll get a notification from Facebook uh, when that happens and I'm going to put up a YouTube uh, page also. Um, as soon as I get that together, then you'll be able to view uh, the videos as we do them. In the meantime, when I'm waiting for um, submissions, I'll be talking about Yoruba, and I'll be talking about ancestral veneration respecting our, our, our ancestors, what the things are that we could do, little things that we could do. If you don't want to make a big deal because you're not ready to, you know, for that or you have a small place or you're not sure, little things that we can do in our daily lives that will help us to give reverence and honor and respect to our ancestors and let's start incorporating that into our lives as a community like other communities do. I, I know we've been taught that anything that is not of uh, the general, you know, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, you know, churches, uh, Church of God in Christ, AME Methodist Church, Baptist Church, all the things, Jehovah Witnesses, 
Seventh-day Adventists, all of the religions, everything that we practice as, uh, uh, um, regularly, that's great. This is not anything negative to any of that. My grandparents and great-grandparents, they're all Christians. They went to churches. They formed churches. They were reverends and, and uh, missionaries and all of that other stuff. This is not about that. This is, this is not about um, putting down any of that. Because if we didn't have that, if, if our grandparents and great-grandparents, our ancestors, didn't have Christianity or Islam or whatever to hold on to and get them through, we wouldn't be here today. And we have to give respect to that. So this is not about uh, anything that's anti-Christianity. And this is not about voodoo or any of that negativity that we were taught to bring upon uh, our, our culture in order to let the other culture go forth. You know, this is about getting back to basics, basics of our culture. And the people who were traded into slavery were from West Africa, and those countries practice Ifa, Yoruba, those type of religions that not only had uh, Orisha, or saints, or deities, another discussion, that they uh, went to with their petitions, things in nature, earth, they also have reverence for the dead, reverence for their ego. So we're going to get started on this journey, folks, and I, I'm looking forward to it. I want to get a, a better camera. I want to get all of the little things to try to make this a, a fun, neat experience for all of us, but we got to get started. So excuse any unprofessionalism that I may have displayed during this video. Like I said, I'm nervous. I want to do a good job for you guys. I want to help us make those connections. I love my family. I love our community. I love our people. And I want so badly to help us so that we can grow and go further. Because it's our time. It's our time. I really, really, really appreciate those of you who have been so encouraging to me. Um, my parents, my mother, my siblings, um, my hairdresser, Monique, who did a fabulous job on me today. Y'all see? How cute am I? Monique is uh, in Baldwin on Grand Avenue, and she's doing a fabulous job. She always does a fabulous job for me. I've been very blessed to find really nice uh, hair stylist over the years. So, um, but she's been very encouraging to me also. So I want us to kick off the next um, phase of our journey. And we're going to get this stuff together and see what we can find and see where it leads because I'm going on this journey with you. Nothing's pre-made, nothing's pre-packaged. I'll do the readings on camera if I can and if I can't I'll do them off camera but I'll definitely uh, share with you as much as I can and and it'll be fun, it'll be funny, it'll be moving. Um, okay. But I know it'll be a blessing. It, 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 it has to be because it's blessed me. Just knowing that God has given me this gift. It's, 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 it's a thrill. It really is. So in the meantime, like I said, I'll be posting videos of just little things that um, I do. Uh, a little information that needs to be shared. And we'll see where it goes. Okay? So, like I said, hit me up. The Messenger on Facebook at my AOL address, E-G-U-N-L-A-D-Y at AOL.com, uh, Yahoo, Ifa Midwives, I-F-A, 
M I D capital W I V E S. So I is capital F A M is capital I D W is capital Wives W I V E S at Yahoo. And like I said, Tumblr, um, E for Midwives on Tumblr. And Facebook and YouTube. You'll see me around. But contact me through those contact numbers and uh, we'll see where this journey takes us because our stories continue. All right. I love you all and thank you so much and thank you to the Creator for this gift and thank you to the ancestors for this opportunity. Peace. Ashe.